please click like and subscribe and that little notification bell for the next episode. So maybe let's talk about this first pie right here. What is this? Lily? What is that? It's a rhubarb pie. A rhubarb. Rhubarb. Have you ever had rhubarb? I, I don't think I have. I'm not even sure what a rhubarb is. Oh. I didn't even know what it is till I started making them too. Rhubarb is a, a plant that grows wild and it has stalks on it, sort of like celery. Yes. And you cut it into chunks and it's very sweet, sour, it's very tart. Uh -huh. And you put a lot of sugar in it and it's like no other taste you've ever had, so you'll have to try it. Ah, and yeah. this other pie is? That's the peach one. The That's peach, peach. pie. Yeah. Now I've seen you won all kinds of awards. Yeah, oh, I'm proud of them. Well, what pie <laughs> did you cook to get those pie uh, awards? Peach and apple. And the contest that Lumi actually won the two first place ribbons on had pies entered from the entire state of Illinois and hers were chosen as the two wow, best. Unbelievable. I named this Zucosa because there's a lady. She's a regular customer and comes like twice a day here and she always sat uh, pretty much every day. So I, I was keep writing to the cook what she wanted every day. So I finally named it Shizuko. And this is a pony shoe. Usually you can have a horseshoe too, which is it's with two meats. But this is a smaller version. So it's just french fries with cheese and some choice of meat. Like a hamburger or turkey or whatever people want to put in it. We stayed at the America's Value Inn. That's the only place in town. And, but it was very nice. nice. Uh, they treated us very nice. The best coffee you want to drink. They had, you, you remember, they had hazelnut, they had this yeah, kind, yeah, that yeah. kind. And how all different coffee. kinds. And I love coffee, so. And this town had their share of, uh, of murals as well. Not like uh, Pontiac. Not like Not like Cuba. Right. The mill is a landmark in uh, the town of Lincoln. Lincoln, Illinois. Yes, I know that. And then in this town, uh, this this used to be a uh, old place where people in the army used to stay. Yeah. It was a barracks, and then they converted it into a uh, restaurant. Restaurant. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're in the army barracks section of the mill. And after World War II, in order for the mill to expand into a larger restaurant and a bar, they moved an army barracks from Havana, Illinois, across the Illinois River, over to Lincoln here, and attached it to the back of the mill. So this was part of a camp called Camp Ellis that housed our, our soldiers and also German POWs during World War II. And after the war, all 2,500 buildings on that camp were leveled or removed or taken away. So we ended up with three of them here in Lincoln, Illinois, and this one probably is now the most famous being connected to the mill. It'll be done. Uh, Lincoln is really known for. Oh, the giant, do you remember the best western in Lincoln? And they had a giant, um, Stagecoach and Lincoln, That's remember? Right. Yeah, this giant stagecoach. It's the biggest one in the world. All right, Jeff Ladd again. We're here at the uh, world's largest covered wagon, which uh, is a, an official record in the Guinness Book of World's Records. It's 40 feet long. It stands 26 feet tall. It weighs five tons. Abraham Lincoln sitting on the wagon is 13 feet tall in the seated position. He's made out of fiberglass and he weighs 350 pounds. I like everything on the ground. On lap 66. 66. It's giant everything. Everything. And, uh, and the hotel was very nice. Um, we didn't stay there, but. We didn't stay there. They wanted us to stay there. We just, obligations. And here we are at an old bell station. Yeah, back in the day when gasoline only cost 31 cents. Peaceful little town. In Sherman we went to an old bar. Now this bar has been here for the longest time. Yeah, and we love bars, so. <laughs> I love bars. I mean, it's been, it, this is an old Forever. F66 yep. landmark. And the place is, I mean, you feel like a Old. old hometown bar. Yes. 
Here we are at the Double H, and Double H is a little wait stop for travelers heading on their way to Springfield. I'm talking to Tim Farley. Tim Farley runs this place, is that correct, Tim? That's correct. And you've been running this place for how long? About 10 years. I'm the fourth owner. It was built in 1946. It's never closed uh, as a bar, an eatery. Just kind of a neighborhood bar, but we get a lot of people off 66. Some people from Brazil were in here just last week. We've had people from Transylvania. It's just a fun place, and as you know, right across the street is the original piece of Route 66 in the park across the street. That's actually the road that it went through there. So originally, when Richie bought, built this, he got out of the war, and there was a granary across the street, and all these trucks would pull up to unload their grain, and he decided, why not build a bar? So there was a brick-making place right here in Sherman, mm -hmm. and these the bricks that were in this building were made right here in Sherman. And uh, Richie had it for a long time, it was called Richie's, uh, and then it changed to the double H.